so what we what we intend to do is grow another crop in the dry season and we have to play the weather if it stays quite dry like this season the sweat season so far has been and we can do dry land preparation uh, in time by mid to late December then we might go for a, a, a drill dry seeded rice you know, just drilling it straight into the dry soil if by then uh, things have become quite wet and we can't really do dry crop establishment then we may opt for machine planting into the wet soil. We're back. Um, it's been what a couple of weeks since we were last out here discussing land preparation for this crop? Yes, and land preparation has occurred. It's been a, a wet preparation technique, but the crucial observation can be seen if you look down here. Yeah, I'm amazed. You know, last year at this point in time we were sinking into our knees. So this time I can actually walk in here without a big problem. So what have we done differently this time, Lee? What have we done differently? It's only been light equipment that's been in here. So two wheel tractors and a power tiller. And it has successfully re-established a hard pan. So I must admit, if we reflect back to last year's experiences, we probably could drum suit if we want. We could, yeah. Um, but do we want to do it, or do we want to this time try a labour-saving, safe option like mechanised transplanting as a more futuristic type of crop establishment? I suspect so. We're a, we're a year older and a year wiser, and probably a year more conservative. Um, transplanting is well proven to to provide a yield potential. What variety are we going to go? What do you think? I've forgotten the numbers right now, but what we're—I think what we've what we've agreed upon will, in fact, split the field in half. It'll be one of our most recent inbred varieties will sow half the field, and one of our most promising uh, hybrids here in the Philippines will sow the other half of the field. So we've done a wet preparation here. So we've—you uh, can see that here—we've nicely incorporated the residue into a decent mud soup. Uh, so, what else do we need to do to get this field ready for planting? I think that's again where we can reflect on, on last year's experience. Last year we used uh, laser levelling with a large tractor. I think the fact that we're just up to our ankles in mud this time instead of our knees suggests we don't want the large tractor. And I am impressed by what a small two-wheel tractor can achieve with a, with a wide board behind it going around the field a few times. So I'm suggesting we just do one last I think you'd call it smoothing more than leveling, but just with the yeah. traditional plank, I don't think there's much wrong. Yeah, so I guess what we've got to do is, uh, before, a few days before the planting schedule, just add a bit more water, go with that tractor or the board to level it, and then we should be able to plant straight into that. Yeah. Sounds entirely simple, really, doesn't it? Well, come back in two weeks.